Good day, everyone. I am Teacher Rose, and I will be your teacher for today. Today, we are going to learn about solving routine and non-routine problems involving volume of solids. For today's lesson, our objective is to find the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres, and to solve routine and non-routine problems involving volume of solids. Are you ready for our lesson? Let's start. Can you name the solids that I am going to show to you? This is a cylinder, a pyramid, a cone, a sphere. Let us try to find the volume of a cylinder given its height, which is 15 centimeters, and its radius, which is 8 centimeters. To find its volume, we have to use the formula V is equal to pi r squared h. Pi, which is equivalent to 3.14, Radius, which is 8 centimeters, and height, which is 15 centimeters. Substituting our formula, that's V equals 3.14, radius, which is 8 to the second power, and the height, which is 15. V equals 3.14 times 64 times 15. So, the volume of this cylinder is 3,014.4 cubic centimeters. Now, try to find the volume of this cylinder. Given its height, which is 21 feet, and its diameter, which is 10 feet. Again, we are going to use our formula V is equal to pi r squared h. Substituting with our given data, pi which is 3.14. Since the given is a diameter, we have to find the radius, which is half of the, the diameter. Half of 10 is 5. So, our radius is 5 feet. And the height, which is 21 feet. We now have V is equal to 3.14 times 5 to the second power times 21. V equals 3.14 times 25 times 21. So the volume of the cylinder is 1,648.5 cubic feet. How about finding the volume of a pyramid? This pyramid has a height of 18 centimeters. Its base is 10 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. The formula in finding the volume of a pyramid is volume is equal to one-third BH, where B is the area of the base. Substituting our formula with the given data, V is equal to one-third. The base or the area of the base is 10 times 10 times the height, which is 18. So V is equal to one-third times 100 times 18. The volume of this pyramid is 600 cubic centimeters. Let's solve for the volume of another pyramid. Given its height, which is 7 centimeters, its base, which is 3.2 centimeters long and 3.2 centimeters wide. Again, the formula in finding the volume of a pyramid is V is equal to one-third BH, where B is the area of the base. Substituting our formula with the given data, V is equal to one-third times the area of the base, 3.2 times 3.2 times the height, which is 7. V is equal to one-third times 10.24 times 7. The volume of this pyramid is 23.89 cubic centimeters. This time, let's find the volume of a cone. Given its height, which is 18 centimeters, and its radius, which is 8 centimeters, the formula in finding the volume of a cone is V is equal to one-third pi r squared h. 
substituting the given formula, we have V is equal to 1 third, pi, which is 3.14, radius, which is 8, 8 squared, and then the height, which is 18 centimeters. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 64 times 18. The volume of this cone is 1,205.76 cubic centimeters. Let's have another one. Find the volume of a cone given its height, which is 8 inches, and its radius, which is 2 inches. Using again the formula V is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 2 squared times 8. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 4 times 8. The volume of this cone is 33.49 cubic inches. Lastly, let's find the volume of a sphere. This sphere has a radius of 8 meters. The formula in finding the volume of a sphere is V is equal to 4 third pi r cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 8 cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 512. So the volume of this sphere is 2,143.57 cubic meters. Let's solve for the volume of another sphere. Given its radius, which is 12 centimeters. Using our formula, which is V is equal to 4 third pi r cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 12 cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 1,728. The volume of this sphere is 7,234.56 cubic centimeters. This time, we are going to solve routine and non-routine problems involving volume of solids. For our first problem, a cylinder has a radius of 7 cm and a height of 10 cm. Find the volume. First, we must know the given facts. The radius of the cylinder is 7 cm and its height is 10 cm. Second, we have to know what is being asked in the problem. In this problem, we are asked to find for the volume of the cylinder. Third, we have to determine the formula to be used in this problem. That's volume is equal to pi r squared h. Finally, we can now solve for the answer. V is equal to pi r squared h. V is equal to 3.14 times 7 squared times 10. V is equal to 3.14 times 49 times 10. The volume is 1,538.6 cubic centimeters. Let's have another problem. A pyramid has a height of 11 inches. Its base is a square. One side of the square measures 9 inches. What is the volume of the pyramid? First, we have to look for the given facts. In this problem, the pyramid has a height of 11 inches and its base is a square having a measurement of 9 inches each side. Second, we have to know what is being asked in the problem. In this one, we have to look for the volume of the given pyramid. Third, determine the formula to be used. In finding the volume of a pyramid, we must use the formula which is V is equal to one third BH where B is the area of the base. Finally, we can now solve for the answer. V is equal to 1 third BH. V is equal to 1 third 9 squared 
times 11. V is equal to 1 third times 81 times 11. The volume of the pyramid is 297 cubic inches. Let's have our third problem. A cone has a radius of 3 centimeters and a height of 11 centimeters. Find its volume. First, we have to know the given facts in the problem. The cone has a radius of 3 centimeters and its height is 11 centimeters. Second, we have to know what is asked in the problem. We are asked to find for the volume of the cone. Third, determine the formula to be used. In finding for the volume of the cone, we will use V is equal to one-third pi r squared h. Finally, using the said formula, we can now solve for the answer. V is equal to one-third pi r squared h V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 3 squared times 11. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 9 times 11. The volume is 103.62 cubic centimeters. For our fourth problem, a sphere has a radius of 5 centimeters. Find its volume. First, we have to know the given facts. Radius is given, which has a measurement of 5 centimeters. Second, what is asked in the problem? Find the volume of the sphere. Third, determine the formula to be used. V is equal to 4 third pi r cube. Then, we can solve. V is equal to 4 third pi r cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 5 cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 125. So the volume of the sphere is 523.33 cubic centimeters. Now, it's your turn to solve. Grab your paper and pen and tell the letter of the correct answer. A cylinder with radius 3 units is shown below. Its volume is 86 cubic units. Find the height of the cylinder. A. 3 units B. 4 units C. 5 units The correct answer is a, 3 units. We are looking for the height of the given cylinder, which has a radius of 3 units and a volume of 86 cubic units. We will use the formula in solving for the volume of a cylinder. V is equal to pi r squared h. 86 equals 3.14 times 3 squared times the height. 86 is equal to 3.14 times 9 times height. 86 is equal to 28.26 times height. To get the height of the cylinder, we have to divide both sides by 28.26. So the height of the cylinder is 3 inches. Get ready for the next problem. Determine the volume of a cone with a radius of 3 cm and a height of 6 cm. Round off your answer. A. 55 cubic centimeters. B. 56 cubic centimeters. C. 57 cubic centimeters. Correct! The answer is C. 57 cubic centimeters. How did we arrive with that answer? The formula in finding the volume of a cone is V is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. 
using the given facts, V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 3 squared times 6. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 9 times 6. The volume of the cone is 57 cubic centimeters. Are you ready for the next problem? The base of the pyramid is a square. Each side measures 8 feet. If the volume of the pyramid is 360 cubic feet, what is the missing height? A. 16 feet B. 17 feet C. 18 feet Correct! The answer is B. 17 feet we are looking for the height of the pyramid. We must use the formula V is equal to one-third times area of the base times height. Substituting this formula with the given facts in the problem, that will become 360 is equal to one-third times 8 squared times height. 360 is equal to one-third times 64 times height. 360 is equal to 21.33 times the height. Divide both sides by 21.33 to get the height. So the height of the pyramid is 17 feet. Let's solve for the volume of this sphere. Given its radius, which is 2.2 centimeters, here are your choices. A. 40 cubic centimeters, B, 45 cubic centimeters, C, 50 cubic centimeters. What's the correct answer? Yes, it's letter B, 45 cubic centimeters. Using the formula for finding the volume of a sphere, which is V is equal to 4 third pi r cubed, and the given facts in the problem, V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 2.2 cube. V is equal to 4 third times 3.14 times 10.65. The volume of the sphere is 45 cubic centimeters. Always remember the formula in finding the volume of the following solids. Cylinder, V is equal to pi r squared h. Pyramid, V is equal to one-third area of the base times height. Cone, V is equal to one-third pi r squared h. Sphere, V is equal to four-third pi r cubed. 